The question me I'm asking is this, and it's very simple. I just have to be straightforward with this. Let it not be as if one person is sentimental here. You see this video you are watching now? This is Showery in court, going to court. Today is the court hearing of Namdi Kanu, though the trial was, they say you should face the trial and all of that, blah, 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 blah. But my question is simple. Why do they Why do they have selected um, um, people like they stopped him from going in to see Namdi Kanu? They stopped him for, at, from attending the trial, from hearing how they passed the judgment. And you could see from this video that I'm about to play to you now that he explained there that they categorically said him should not enter. Anyway, here's video highlights. Also, uh, watch his barrister give a press briefing after the court. For sure, I do it. Why, why would you say no answers for sure? Which, which order? Who gave you the order? Who gave you the order? Don't, 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 don't. Go back. Who gave you the order that I should not, I should not have access to, to the... Don't camera out there. Oh, what, what, who gave you the order? I want to call somebody. Don't, no, no, no. Don't no, camera out there. I will break this Organize phone. yourself. Why are you camera on it? Organize yourself. Now nah, you supposed to behave yourself. Organize yourself. Turn this bottle. Organize yourself. Oh, yeah? Move, move, move. Organize yourself. Why, why would you want to move, check move, and take move, my move. phone? Turn it! What do you want to take my phone for? Uh, uh, come back, do your work. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just uh, returning from uh, the Supreme Court of Nigeria where there was supposed to be a ruling today regarding uh, the freedom of uh, Namdun Kano, that's uh, the leader of uh, Biafra, who has been in detention, illegal detention in Nigeria after he was extraordinarily renditioned from Kenya uh, almost uh, uh, two and a half years ago. And uh, it's so shameful uh, that uh, the Nigerian security services mounted. Uh, you know, a checkpoint at the uh, at the entrance of the Supreme Court. Twice I tried to enter the Supreme Court through different uh, gates. They refused. Come down. Revise back. This is the judges who are about revise back. Who is the judge? Is the judges not? Who is the judges? Who is the judges? We are saying who is the judges? Yes. Who is the judges? Is you say? Revise back. Just relax. Revise, just revise back. You say who is the judges? Revise back. They made it clear that uh, there's an order from above, as usual, that said I cannot attend to this uh, uh, ruling. We are waiting, and uh, I just worry that he may not get justice. Because it's a very early day, early morning sign that they might have something up their sleeves. But I hope I'm wrong for the first time today. But regardless of what they do, Kanu must be free. He must be granted his freedom because he's not a criminal. And we know who the criminals are in this country. They are the ones running the country, sadly. So that's uh, that's uh, a report from the Supreme Court this morning. We have a whole lot of non-lawyers here who came to court today to show or to demonstrate uh, solidarity with Martin Abraham, the distinguished senator representing his uh, senatorial constituency. But you see, um, the, the the ruling today was in part disappointing and in part satisfactory. Um, a lot of people might say it's a bit ambiguous, so I'm going to speak very briefly so that I do not preempt what is going to come out of the registry of the court. We, have, we are going to promptly apply for certified true copies of what the justice stated in court today. But some things that he made clear were as follows. That number one, Mazin Nambikan was enjoying his bail when his house was invaded and that was wrong. If you recall, uh, we had obtained a judgment in 2022 at the High Court in Abia State awarding him one bill. So this indirectly affirms that judgment. And that the manner of bringing him into Nigeria was also wrong. But despite all of that, the Supreme Court uh, found cause to send this case back to the Federal High Court. And sending it back to the Federal High Court is actually called remission. And when they remit, they remit with the instructions. We don't know yet what those instructions are because we don't have certified two copies of the judgment and the judgment order. So in days to come, that will be available and will be made available to the press. Okay, please. When the um, judge said yes. um, appeal and cross appeal, what does it mean? Well, if government appealed against the, the discharge granted by the court of appeal and we cross appealed. Okay, um, against the stay 
of execution granted by the Court of Appeals. So these were the issues. But what came out was that the, the revocation of his bail was wrong. So this, in fact, has created a basis to further seek his release, you know, through some other means. So the judge is saying that the trial should continue. What does it mean for your team now? Well, basically, it's going to continue or it's going to proceed in accordance with the instructions the Supreme Court will ask issue. And those instructions will be clearer when we get them in writing. So the judge or the Federal High Court judge will have to be restricted within those. It's called a remission. So they have to carry out, the court, the Federal High Court has to carry out the strict instructions of the Supreme Court. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. That's it. Thank you. This is uh, Federal, this is the Supreme Court, Abuja. We are friends. We are here today to pay solidarity to their leader, Mazin and Kano, during this court case today. So as you can see, this is Benjamin Mazin. Information as you can see, Bia friends are here in solidarity to the Ali Damazin and the Khan during his court case in Supreme Court today. Despite the security threats, despite everything, despite the intimidation, they are here standing shoulder to shoulder to the Ali Damazin and the Khan. So you can see, they are here alive, despite everything, despite the intimidation. So they are waiting patiently to hear the act.